Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you this modern day spin on a gorgeous retro eye makeup look. I'm really excited because I will be using products from Rimmel's new Scandalize Retro Glam Collection, which is absolutely fabulous. You guys have probably seen me use products in previous videos, but if you would like to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. To start out the eye look, I'm taking the Rimmel Scandalized Shadow Stick in Witness White. I'm using this as a base for my eyeshadow just to make the colors a little bit more intense. I'm then taking the new Scandalized Eye Paints and I'm taking the shade Golden Bronze. It's a gorgeous metallic golden color and I'm basically just going to use this on the lower part of my lid. These are super creamy, very pigmented. You only need a little bit whenever you apply these. A little goes a long way. You will find that they are very wet. They're very cold whenever you put them on. It's actually a really nice cooling sensation. But you're just going to dab a little bit all over the lower lid and this is again going to help intensify the gold shadow we're going in with later. And of course you're going to need to blend the shadow paint out. I found that the best way to blend these out is by using your finger. The warmth from your finger will help to melt the product a little bit better into the skin and just give it more of a seamless look. To intensify the eye look, I'm taking the Rimmel London Quad in Sun Safari and I'm first going in with the gold shade on a flat shader brush. I'm just going to apply this all over where the shadow paint is. This is just to help set the shadow paint and also intensify the golden color. It adds a really nice sparkle to the eyes. I just think the combo of these two golden shades are really, really nice. I'm then taking the light bronze taupe color in the palette and placing that on the outer corner and also slightly into the crease. I'm just using a really light blending brush for this because you don't have to be really precise. You just want to lay down a really nice kind of soft gradient effect with the brown color. Later on we'll be going in and intensifying that crease. I'm taking the white shade from the palette and placing that right underneath my brow bone as a highlight, also into the inner corner, and I'm just using it to slightly blend out the brown so it's a little bit more of a subtle shade. I'm going back in with a scandalized shadow stick and bulletproof beige, and I'm using this on the inner corner of my eye. I'm then going to take the white shade from the palette again on a pencil brush and place that right over the inner corner. This is just going to help to intensify the highlight and give you a lovely glowing look. <laughs> I'm then taking the Rimmel Scandalized Liner. This is the black one, and I'm just going to tight line my lower lash line as well as my top lash line. Again, you don't want to have any skin peeking through because this is going to be a slightly dramatic look. To help blend out the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking a liner brush and feathering that out so it's not so harsh. Okay guys, so this look is all about the eyeliner. For the look, I'm going to be taking the Scandalized Thick and Thin Eyeliner. It's basically a liquid liner that has a dual ended tip on it. You can use it to create a really fine line, or you can flip it over and use it to create a really thick line. This is going to be a trial and error process if you've never done this before. It can be a little bit tricky, but I'm basically just taking the pin and extending that out past my tear duct. This is going to give you a really nice retro kind of 70s look. And if you mess up, don't worry about it. This liner is really easy. Easy to clean up. As you can see, I mess up right there and I'm just going to go in with a Q-tip and clean it up. Then I'm taking a, a liner brush and I get just a little bit of the liquid liner on it and I'm just using that to perfect the wing. It's going to be trial and error process, but I promise you, you'll get it down eventually. Um, then for the outer wing, I'm going to carve it out and you'll see I'll flip my eyeliner here in a second when I bring it down and it'll create a really perfect kind of thicker line that's just going to connect the upper tip to the bottom line. A Q-tip is going to be your best friend when working with a dramatic eyeliner like this. It really is just going to perfect the look and if you don't know how to do a perfect liquid line, winged liner, have a Q-tip on hand. You will see that you can get a perfect look just by going back and kind of perfecting that with a Q-tip. On a pencil brush, I'm just taking the taupe shade and carving out my crease a little bit more so it's more defined. Then I'm taking the gold shade and intensifying it with, again, the pencil brush. Since this is more of a dramatic look, I'm taking a pair of falsies and applying those as close to the lash line as possible. This look really, you can do this without it, but I think the lashes just make the look 
just it just pulls the look together makes the eyes look so gorgeous especially looks very nice with the extended liner so this of course is optional but I did choose to apply them to blend them with my natural lashes I'm taking the scandalized retro glam mascara and this is just gonna help plump the lashes up a little bit more it gives really good volume and it just makes your lashes look more natural with the falsies and that's it guys that is it for the eye look very easy to recreate don't let it intimidate you i know there's quite a few steps in it but all the products go on very easily very smoothly very pigmented so it just makes the process a lot more easier i hope you guys enjoyed this retro glam makeup and i will see you in the next video bye